As we look and stare into the abyss, you never know what to do when you act it to. It's coming. All these voices. What's up, guys? This is horror author James Hershey Jr., and most of you know me from the radio show, Staring Into the Abyss, as being a loving, mild-mannered, even-tempered kind of fella. And usually I am. I try to love everybody. I try to do the best I can to be a good and loving man. Every once in a while, something happens that gets me a little bit fired up, and I'm ready for battle. Something like that happened recently. So here's the story. Here's what's going on. We went on a promotional uh, ghost hunt with a group called Shadows Pit Paranormal out of California. And it was supposed to be a run-of-the-mill thing. You know, we just go there, we kind of make an appearance on the Facebook Live, and that kind of thing. Well, when we got there, we realized that this was no simple promotional ghost hunt. This was not just going to be a trying to capture an EVP or, or messing around with the spirit box and maybe we get something to come through. This is going to be a night that turned into something that was very, very dangerous. Um, at the Victorville Cemetery, there is multiple wraiths that are present there. For those that don't know what a wraith is, wraith is basically a damned soul that is being controlled by either a very powerful witch or by a demon. Um, they can bring these souls back from hell and they can attack people with them. They can use them to do their bidding. They are extremely dangerous. In the spectral form, the only way to kill a wraith is to corner it so that it cannot escape and to insert a holy object inside the body and hold it there for several seconds until it dissipates. That will get rid of it in its spectral form and send it back to wherever the hell it came from. Is where I assume it goes. I don't know. It, it disappears. So wherever the hell it goes. Very, very difficult to do because trying to corner a spectral wraith is like trying to catch a grease pig. It, just, it don't happen very easy. A wraith is also capable of possessing a human body. When that happens, they are actually much easier to kill because all you have to do at that point is stab it in the heart with a silver knife. This will kill the wraith. Unfortunately, it will also kill the host. The person is being possessed. So those are your options, basically. A normal exorcism is not going to work for you. Um, there's not a whole lot of other choices to be made. So we encountered a spectral form of the wraith on this hunt. It attacked a gentleman named JC, who is the leader of Shadow's Pit. Um, it choked him, it scratched him, and it caused him to 
there's really no good way to say this, so I'm just going to say it. It caused him to projectile vomit all over the place. It was horrifyingly gross. Also, during that investigation, it tried to prey on one of the female members and made her extremely sick, scared the ever-loving hell out of her. And it just was not a good night. Old Boy tried to confront the thing that night and do something about it, but unfortunately, it was attacking from every every angle. And there was a lot of people that were going down. So he decided it would be smarter and better to get everybody the hell out of there instead of trying to do battle right at that moment. So fast forward a few weeks, maybe a month, there's another team out there. They are friends of Shadow's Pit as well. This group had one of their female members actually grabbed and physically thrown to the air, is the report that we got. So this wraith that is at Victorville Cemetery is a real prick, and he's really attacking weak people and trying to do them bodily harm. He's trying to hurt people, and I can't abide that. So what we're going to do on this episode of Tales from the Abyss is I'm going to send the West Coast team out there, and we're going to try to track this guy down, and we're going to try to get rid of it. I think, most likely, there's going to be more than one. Because with the original attacks on Shadow's Pit, it was coming from all different angles. So, I don't think that's just one entity we're dealing with. We're probably dealing with multiple wraiths out there. It's going to be a very dangerous situation. But, it's in really good hands with Old Boy. I trust that guy with my life. And, I think that, that he'll be okay. We have a very small team, and everybody on the team is very well equipped to handle this. So I'm not really worried about anybody getting hurt. But that's what we're going to do this episode of Tales from the Abyss. And with any luck, we will be able to find this thing, and we will be able to, to corner it and get rid of it. Or at least try to drive it away. So we're going to see what happens. I'll be back after the investigation to let you know how it went. Although you'll probably already know that from watching it and to tell you what the next step is going to be, what we're going to do next. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode of Tales from the Abyss. Uh, we're dealing with some dangerous stuff, and I hope that you like it, because it, it's nothing to play with. And a little public service announcement so that nobody gets on me for it. Kids, do not try this at home. Don't. This is not fake. This is not bull crap. This is not just a TV show. Okay, these things are real and they are dangerous. They choked out one of our guys. They threw another girl through the air. They are nothing to be played with. These things can take over your body. They can end your life. Okay, don't mess around with wraiths. Don't mess around with stuff that you don't understand because you will get hurt and nobody wants to see that. So with that being said, I love you guys and I will be back after the investigation and let's see how old boy does out there, huh? Bye. I'm Randy Rocco and I'm with Shadows Pit Paranormal. I was attacked by the wraith at the Victorville Cemetery. We were walking from the children's crib over to the bell tower. The wraith had already tried to attack Micah, James, JC, and it was on Shalia at this point. When she started feeling sick, um, the guys were already walking ahead of us, so I stood back uh, to make sure she wasn't by herself. As uh, soon as she started feeling better, though, I started feeling instantly ill. I had started with a slight headache, and then before I knew it, my stomach felt like it was in knots, and I felt really nauseous. I felt dizzy and lightheaded, like I was going to pass out. Um, we walked over to the bell tower, and I needed to sit down. I got really bad. I seriously thought that I was going to pass out right in the middle of the cemetery. Um, everything was dizzy. It felt like when you walk onto a boat, everything was just kind of wobbly. Um, but as soon as we started talking about leaving, I started feeling a little bit better, but I was still not by much. And as we were walking out back towards the front gates, that's when I started feeling instantly better. And as soon as we were out of the cemetery, it was like nothing had happened. Hi, my name is J.C. Scott, and I'm the founder and lead investigator of Shadows Pit Paranormal here in Apple Valley, California. Been actively investigating and researching the paranormal since 2011, 
And one of my favorite locations to come to is here, the Victor Valley Cemetery. Um, here we've uh, encountered many different types of creatures, including a wraith. Um, this creature um, presented itself to us um, on numerous occasions. It's even physically assaulted me uh, to the point where I projectile vomited and, and was choked and uh, thrown across the air. Um, this creature is some serious business and I don't recommend anybody as an experience go looking for one of these things. Um, I do a lot of um, fasting, a lot of prayers, a lot of research to be able to do what I do. So before we head in tonight, I just want to give you a warning. Do not, I repeat, do not repeat what you see on TV. Do not attempt to do what we do without proper supervision, proper experience, and proper research. All right, JC. So as you stated, there's a wraith here in the Victor Village Cemetery. So, where have you found out the strongest points that he's been at or it's been at? The strongest point is going to be due north of the cemetery, uh, just by the mausoleums and to the right of the Soldier Memorial. Um, I had a friend that came with us one time that was tripped by the wraith, and I watched her just kind of just like her legs fly by there and her fall flat. As soon as that happened, the creature extended from its knees up and had pointy long ears and it disappeared into the night. Okay, so what is your feelings tonight being here again to see if we can find it there? Well, the energy is definitely stronger tonight. It was the first one to arrive on scene tonight. Um, I had a really eerie feeling, a real powerful energy going on. Um, we just are a few days away from a full moon, so I think... Uh, the spirits have been charged and I think we're definitely going to find some interesting stuff tonight. Alright JC, let's see what we find. Thanks for the interview. Thanks very much. So right now where we're at over here, getting closer to the mausoleum, um, but right here is where I see my friend pretty much just trip on nothing. She jumped up in the air like she was pushed and fell over. Next thing you know this creature arose from his knees, stretched all the way up, had long pointy ears, must have been about 10 feet tall and disappeared over there off into the distance. Hey, it's Old Boy from Staring into the Abyss, and this is the second episode of Tales from the Abyss. And here we are at the Victorville Memorial Park since 1917. And why I'm here is, I've been here a couple times with Shadow's Pit, and when we were doing investigations, and we've been attacked by the Wraith. And we're going to see what this thing is, or we can get rid of it. So I hope you guys enjoy the show, and we're going to go catch us a Wraith. We're here in the uh, Victorville Cemetery right now. We're walking up, trying to find where we're at with this wreath that's here and see what we can come across. So we are going to start walking up to the area where it was last seen and see if we can figure out if it's going to show itself tonight. We will see what happens in a couple minutes. I keep getting a point. It's a. I'm getting a five five point three right now. So there's no overhead power lines at this point in time. Yeah, that's, that's too far away for this. Two point. It's just and it's dropping down. Um, hey guys, we're uh, right in the middle of the. Well, we're not in the middle. We're about a quarter way into the. We're in the middle of the, uh, by the cemetery, and we're already getting a lot of EVPs and a lot of energy right now. So I hope you guys enjoy this because <laughs> we're going to be messing with something that's crazy. You guys will be seeing it early and soon. So you might want to recalibrate your temperature. Show the temperature of what we're seeing right now. Yeah, I'm showing. Okay. yeah, we're getting a lot of. You're, yeah, you're getting warm. The temperature is going from cold to warm. And it's right in this area right here. Here. Where this tree is. Yeah. Oh, I just, okay, I just, tree. I just got full shells on the right side. I'm not measuring any temperature changes. I can feel it. I can feel it. It's like whatever it is isn't good. It might be the race already. You smell sulfur? Yeah. Yeah. That just said race. 
Okay, I just got the I just got the major chills like somebody just touched the back of my neck. Mm -hmm. So Jackie, what are you feeling right now? Um, chills, like something going like this, it's all on the right side. My left side is completely normal, nothing. The hairs on my ears, it feels like it's just standing up. It just feels like something's going like this on my whole right side. Okay. Yeah. And it's warm. Let's drop another degree in temperature. You want to get this in here? We're going to be back at box, guys. Yeah, oh. Good after good evening. Who is this? Wow. What was that again? Repeat. Three. Uh. Three. That is old what is your name? Alfred. Right. Alfred. Obama. Obama? I just said Obama. Yep. Could you just say Obama? Um. Ice. Ice. Did you just say ice? Like ice? <laughs> Said yes. We. Is this the race? Friend. Friend. Four. What number did we have on our last case? Yeah, Friend. pet popping up. Roger. Again. Roger. Yes. Me. Get away. Yeah. Uh, I heard it play. I thought he said get away. What number do we have in our last case? Alexander. Oh wow. That actually came out perfect. <laughs> That's from the other program. Yeah. I have both running up. Who's Alexander? Right. Rafe? There's two Rafe, one under right. male and female. There's two Rafes? Right. Yeah, there is Rafe. Four. Four. There's four wraiths? Yeah. Five. Five. Yeah. They're lying. Under they're, they're lying. They're lying. They're lying. How many is there? Yeah. Five. Five again. No, there's five of us. That's what I think it is. It's five of us. That makes sense. It just said five, and it's five of us. Is this the wraith? I'm not going to be quiet. Is this the wraith? Element. There's an element here too. There's an element. Well, who's this? Who's the element? Is there, is there a demon here right now? Me? Self. Who is it? What is that? Self. Self. The wraith. The wraith. The wraith. The wraith. Angel. Angel. Is there a good angel here? and the echo box are playing off each other. They're going back and forth. Something, they're fighting between each other. It's good and evil. There's something good here, too. Yeah. Something's standing over here now. Rafe. Where are you at, Rafe? It's a 5.7. Comet. Comet. Lusty. Lust. Said lust. Why is there lust? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Who is who are we talking to right now? Let's move up a little bit more and see if we get some more activation. Did you say rape? Diabolical. Diabolical. Rape. 
I'm not gonna leave, so you might as well quit, Wraith. <laughs> that was like a stern leave right there. I'm not gonna leave. So, where are you in your life? Where are you hiding? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Clearly said hi, guys. I don't know if you guys are getting this, we're, trying, we're on the, the Echo Box and we're doing huh? a lot of activity. What's going on is there are two programs Rape. running at the same time. Yeah, there's Paratech and Echo Box going on at the same time. The clearest Rape. point is Paratech. Yeah. And the blue yeah. stuff is <laughs> coming through the Echo Box. Yeah, but it just said Rafe. Yeah. I just said Rafe, guys. Angel. Said angel Rape. again. What, what kind of angel? Angel of death? Uh, you over here by this green thing, or a demon or whatever? Is there a demon in here right now? <laughs> is there a demon in here? Yes. Jack, okay, okay, EMF is going, K2 is actually going crazy right now. It's been up to uh, all the way into the red. So we are taking a look and it is really doing a number. So there's some kind of energy in this area. There's no power lines and definitely there's no underground power lines at this point in this part of the cemetery. So we're going to keep our eyes on this and make sure, keep an eye on what's happening. Look at that wall. Yep. James, I want to try an experiment real quick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If there is somebody here, light that up. Light the K2 up for us, please. That little spot right there. Get it, you know, give me a little bit more. You can do more. Are you good energy? Are you somebody good or somebody evil? Light it up for me, let me know. Two more lights is yes, it's something evil. Good, one light, there you go. You can do it. You can do the power, come on. Two lights, it's good. Three lights, it's bad. So is somebody here controlling you? Somebody here controlling you? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So is that an evil spirit that's controlling you? No. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Come on. Are you going to tell us? All right. So three three lights is yes, right? Okay. So, the we have the chains swaying over here. I don't like that car right there. There's no wind at this point in time up here at all, and the chains are swaying. And if it was, this one's not even, it just started moving. This one's not moving at all. So that should show people right there. Did you hear that? This is old boy, the, the, the chains are moving on the one side, not over here. That gate just comes on front. Yep. As you can see right now, the chain is moving, nobody's touched it. And it is swaying back and forth. And so the other chain, no wind, no wind. No wind up here. You can see over here. It's not moving. Take it more. There's somebody in there. Or stop it completely. Absolutely no wind. If there was wind, the rest of these would be moving. Harder if you can. 
just a little bit. If there's something here right now, take it a little bit more. It is a little bit. Mm -hmm. If you can stop it, stop it if you can. As you can see, nobody is touching the chain at this point in time. Nobody no. has been touching it. And there's no wind, guys. Look at the chain next to it, it's not moving. What I'll do is I'll stop the chain right there. I haven't even tried to stop it. It's still moving when I stop it. That's crazy, guys. I hope you're seeing this at home. And then we'll come back over here. We're still having... But if I let go of it, it's stuck on me. It's stuck on you? Yeah. Do you like Jackie? Give me two lights for yes. Yeah. Okay. Is it a little kid? Two lights if it's a little kid. Is it an adult? Yep. Is it evil or good? If it's evil, light it all the way up. Yep. Is it the wraith? And that was a five. If it's the wraith, light up all the lights, all the way to the red. We're giving evidence right now that the wraith may be getting in contact with us right now on the, uh, the EMF meter. What the fuck is that? We just heard a uh, pounding sound. We just heard a pounding sound, but the mom's leaving. Where's Micah? He's over there. You just heard a big loud pounding sound after we were doing the EMF. Sorry for my language guys, but this is an area where JC and me have encountered the wraith numerous times. It didn't sound like that, it sounded like it was in the back of this. It sounded like somebody was pounding the back or something. The monitor room is right here in your clock. Oh wow. It isn't locked. Well, whatever that banging was, that was weird. We were talking about the race, and we got it. It sounded like somebody was kicking the no, back no, of that wall. We're yeah. getting some really crazy energy, guys. I feel the. I feel, feel So people's bad. loved ones can get the rest they need. Stop tormenting them in the underworld. Leave. Leave. Crazy. If you don't leave, I'll keep coming all the time. Leave. My consistent seven point zero. What are we getting here? Oh yeah. Look at this, guys. This thing's jumping back and forth. He left. 12.6. Wait, leave. Or show yourself. All I see you doing is playing little games. That doesn't scare me. I'm going to keep coming here. And coming here. So you leave. Or I destroy you. And I will destroy you. Good, let it go insane. People have never seen nothing like me. I'm here challenging a wraith or a demon, whatever it is. Make up a lot of sound, that's all I hear. Like I said, you actually do something and I'm not going to care about all this. That's a coward's move. You're a coward. Then I'm getting mad. 
one, two, race, the 17 race. Where are they at? So, all I'm saying is, whatever here, I no longer, I'm going to banish you here. I don't want you here anymore. Or I'll come back okay, for you guys. again. This is where JC was attacked. We didn't buy this almost. And the demon over here is where uh, it was in the bush right here looking at me. And then we just took a picture of this tree and it had an orb in it. So, last time we came out here, it says, can't remember. We got the name Lucy Green. Yeah. Look it. Oh, Lucy Green right here. Found it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go over here by this wood where he got attacked and I was there. Over here. Over here, guys. Right here. James. James, yeah. right here. Right in here. Whatever's in here, show yourself. I am not afraid of you. Heard it. Yeah, I think it's over here. Careful. Careful. I'm deep here, guys. Sorry. I'm going to go over here where he got attacked now. Sorry. And they took a picture of me a couple of months ago, right in this area where we got the picture of the demon. Now, here is the entity that Old Boy was speaking about during the investigation. This is the photograph that we took. Now, we're going to blow this up. And in the blown up version right here, you can clearly see the outline of the creature with the horns on the head and everything. It's a pretty remarkable photograph. Now, back to the investigation. And then this is where he's got a cut. Over here in the right here, here, here. And I'm hearing from right now. I can see it. Oh. Right here. Oh. We got attacked right in this area. See if we can hear anything. I'm going to make everything quiet. Get your mic off there. Take it easy. Those are our people walking. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to be quiet. But, um, I heard something in those woods right there. There's something around here watching us. This is where he, camera. this is where he got attacked. Right around this area. There's raids on the other side of this. So, yeah, right in this area, there's something in these area in these woods. I try to go after it. Whatever's around here, show yourself. See, it's going to be hard to hear you guys because it leaves everywhere because it's a fog. So let's try to make this quiet. Can you hear me? Anything here? Make a noise. If you can hear me. Make some noise. I know you're there watching. Something right in that tree. Put your light on over there. Just, 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 
no trees. This thing likes to hide around in the trees, guys. <coughs> Jumping around, man. Never seen. Well, for right now, it's not showing itself, guys, so I'm going to cut off right now. For now, we'll get some more evidence. Okay. You smell it? Smell it right here? Yeah. It's been old. Yeah. Um, Just came down off the hill. Okay. We're going to go over there by the wall, then. Can you hear me? Is there a race here at this cemetery? Say something to me if there's somebody here at this cemetery. Sounds like there's something signs, but it's not coming through, guys. Tell me your name here. I didn't make that out. Can you hear me? Tell me a name if there's a name here. If there is an entity here, let me know this name. Please let me know your name. Can you hear me? Say something. I know you can. Sit me. You heard it? I just said race guys on the camera. I mean on the, uh, the spirit box. How many races is there? What is my name? What is my name? You said Hershey. If that's not my name, what is my name? What is your name? How many there is there of you? How many spirits is out here right now with it? Said four. Okay. 
What is my name? Good old boy. Who is the camera guy's name? That's with me. Is there any entity that can hear me right now and can contact me? Yeah. What is my name? Hey, Jan. Just got real cold, guys. Yeah, we got movement behind us. Too. We got movement. Let me shut this off, guys. I'll be able to run. Huh? Mm -hmm. got real cold, guys. Just so everybody knows, this is where a demon was right next to my head, and we're actually got real cold and real windy and it's exactly like what it was before. There's something up in these trees. All of a sudden it got real mm -hmm. cold and I was using the spirit box guys. This is exactly where I got the demon was when I saw me on the camera. You hear it guys? Over here. Over here. I can hear it. It got real cold and windy, guys, all of a sudden it was when I was messing with the spirit box. If there's something here, make a noise. If there's some kind of entity or demon here or wraith, show yourself. can't really see guys it's really dark oh. I don't hear it no more what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here a little bit Right now, J.C. from Seventh Pit was attacked when we were on an investigation here about two months ago, right in this area. And it got real cold all of a sudden. Right here, right where we're at, we have seen orbs on cameras. So maybe there is something here right now. It got real cold too. Like something's walking around in these woods. Right especially around in this area, if you guys can hear it. I'm going to try to see if you can see it's a little dark out. See, the leaves are real crunchy and they're moving around here. I keep hearing something, guys. You guys at home? It seems like something's walking around up in the hills. I can't see it. It's so dark. You can see as best I can with the light. There's got to be something walking around in here. But right in this area, there's always a lot of activity. This is where he got attacked. I was witnessing it. Me and James Hershey Jr. were on. He was on the phone. He got attacked and started throwing up over in this area right here. And I just heard, it, hold, heard the noise, guys. It got real cold and windy right in this area. I don't know. This has always been a good area here. Is there any kind of entities around us waiting and watching us right now? Like a race? Any kind of spirit? Demon? Make a noise. Throw something. Let me know something. James. Yeah, okay. There's footprints, footsteps over here. I'm gonna go check it out. There's my cameraman saying that there's footsteps over here. And it got, it stopped being windy, and it, when you go over here, it starts getting cold and windy again. It's only a couple feet away from where we were at. Can you hear anything? That's weird. I keep hearing sounds right in this area. Let me see if I can contact something again, guys. 
in the spare box. Can you hear me? Is there anything watching us right now? Is that a yes or a no? I said leave. Why do we have to leave? We're saying stuff but I can't make it out yet, guys. Why do you want us to leave? To die. Why do you want us to die? I didn't hear that. What was that? Is the Rafe here right now with us? Yes? Is it the same race that has attacked JC and Randy? Yes or a no? Is it the same race that has been attacking everybody on their investigation? Yes or no? Race. Why do you keep attacking everybody on these investigations? Let me know, please. How many are there of you? Can you answer that for me? How many is there of you? 20? 20? 20 ghosts or 20 race? Entity. Are you a demonic entity? understand what I am saying. Can you hear me? Are you the race? Yeah. Are you watching us right now? How many are there how many are there here of us? Right now in the cemetery? There's not five of us, that's a lie. How many is there? Three. Yes, you said that right. Why are you watching and following us? The race. So you are the race, huh? Is that a yes, a no? I'm not going to get out. Why do you want me out of here? I'm not going to leave. Answer me. Did you hear me, Ray? I know you can hear me. I'm not afraid of you, so you need to leave this cemetery. 
and stop bothering everybody here. You're not wanted here anymore. I want you out of here. You're not going to kill anybody. Did you hear me, Rafe? I didn't hear what did you say again? Instead of it being a coward, answer. So now you're going to ignore me, huh? No or yes? Can you hear me? Are you watching us right now? Mm -hmm. Is there a rape here right now? Yeah? How many rapes are here right now? Three. Is there one right by us right now? Are you watching me right now as I speak? Yes. Yeah. What do you want? What do you want? Can you hear me? Why do you keep attacking everybody on their investigations here? Let me know why. Did you hear me, Rafe? I didn't hear that. What'd she say? right now in the cemetery are you an evil entity yeah yeah are you a demon or a race Are you going to answer me? Mm. Yeah? You're a rape or a demon? Still not answering me. Quit being a coward. Answer me. Is this a rape or a demon? Rape. You heard that? Mr. Yeah. Rafe, ladies and gentlemen. Why do you keep attacking everybody here in the cemetery at night? Tell me your reason. Are you evil? Yes or no? I can't hear you again. He's playing music too. To what? Instead of playing music, tell me what you're talking about. was that? I heard that. You said Rafe? I know you're the Rafe. But why do you keep attacking everybody? 
Die? No, I'm not gonna die. I want you out of this cemetery. Get out of the cemetery. You're not wanted here. Said my name. Yes, I want you out of here. I'm not scared of you. You're a joke. You don't scare me. You die. I'm not scared of you. I know you're here, Wraith. He doesn't want to talk to me tonight, guys. Barely a little bit here and there, but that's it. I hope you guys like that, I guess. It's kind of disappointing. We got some evidence there, I guess. Huh. I got it on a photo. Oh. Okay, so I thought I was flipping, and then it got closer. It's right there. Oh, okay. okay, so see the branch? It's going like this. Yeah. See that little blurry image right there? Yeah. I heard a scream. Okay, this is the same tree. No image. Yeah. No image at all. Yeah. It's the same tree. Different picture. No. Right there. Right there. The wraith. We right actually there. got a picture of the wraith, right James. Nice. Now I've decided to include these pictures in the show because I usually do an extra video, but I wanted you guys to see this as you're watching this show. Now, as you can see, this is the picture that Jackie was talking about. She actually took three separate pictures in quick succession. One, two, three. And inside this blue circle is the figure of the wraith that she captured. Now, in the first two pictures, you will get a very good view of the wraith. Here is a blown up version of that first picture. And as you can plainly see inside this blue circle, just plain as day, is the wraith that we're talking about. Now, this thing attacked several members of our group. And the reason why we came here on this investigation tonight was to locate this thing and to try to get it out of the cemetery. Now it looks to be like a cloaked figure. And this is the second picture in that series that we were talking about of photographs. And in this one, once again, inside that blue circle, when we zoom in, you're gonna be able to see that the Wraith once again makes an appearance. Now this is the zoomed in view of the second photograph. Once again, as you can see, plain as day, right there in the middle of that blue circle, you have the figure of the wraith. Now you might be saying, well, James, that's probably just branches or, or leaves or, or you're just seeing things. Well, you can see it for yourself in two separate photographs. This thing is here. But if it was tree limbs or leaves or something like that, in this photograph, you would also have that exact same picture of the wraith because she was standing in the same position. She took three in a row, bam, bam, bam. The first two had the wraith, this one, no wraith. It's the exact same spot of the exact same tree from the exact same angle, literally a couple seconds after the first picture because it was in quick succession. Now we're gonna zoom in on this picture as well so you can get a very good view of what this thing looks like. Here is the zoomed in photo. That is the exact same spot where we saw the wraith in the other two pictures. In this picture, there is no wraith. So had it just been branches or leaves or a weird trick of light that caused us to see something in the tree that we believe to be this creature, then it would still be there in the third photograph. But as you can plainly see in the third photograph, it is gone. Um, hi, I'm Jackie. I'm the photographer and uh, orbs everywhere, amazing footage, amazing pictures, um, a lot of evidence. I, I know that um, you know our guys are going to have a long night trying to decipher and pick through everything, but overall it was very, very, very interesting night. Um, like I said, a lot of evidence, and I'm excited to come back and um, do it all over again. All right. And Micah. Micah Ramo, investigator, Had a lot of good stuff. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace. And I have to say something wrapping up here. Christina, 
You better have a good time sleeping tonight because tomorrow night you're not going to. And let me thank Shadows Pit for coming out here. Let me thank you guys on ParaX when you guys are going to watch this or YouTube for staring in the abyss and tells from the abyss the new show that we're going to be doing this is the second episode i hope you guys enjoy it everybody has a great night misfits sugar ladies monster hunters and demon lovers let's be that was a hell of a night wasn't it we had that thing on the ropes we cornered it several times and we tried like hell to drive it away uh we did learn tonight that my suspicions were proven correct there are more than one wraith out there there are several um, at one point they said 20, but most likely I think we're dealing with less. I think there might be 20 entities out there, uh, some malevolent, some evil. There might even be a demonic presence out there, but we know that we're dealing with more than one wraith. Uh, we were not able to get it tonight. We tried to drive it away. It left several times, but it just kind of ran away to another part of the cemetery. So I think the next move here is at some point... I'm going to fly out to California, and me and old boy are going to take this bastard on ourselves, both of us together, and I think together we might have a really good shot. See, old boy runs the West Coast team over in California. I run the East Coast team here in Virginia. Uh, my team is Paranormal SOS, and we do cases here in Virginia. We're working on a demonic case right now that I'm actually going Saturday to try to get this thing out of the house. It's been harassing and 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 really messing with the family. It, a little girl tried to kill herself. She's in a mental institution now, and that bastard's going down. If I have anything to say about it, I'm, I'm taking that some bitch out, okay? So that's going up. That might be actually a future episode of Tales from the Abyss if I have the family's permission to actually air the footage because we are shooting footage there. I have some amazing photographs of this thing. Scary as all hell, but he he messed with the wrong family, man. He he messed with a little girl. He tried to get a little girl to kill herself. That's messed up, you know? And that's why we do this. We don't do this for the fame. We don't do this for the money. We do this because these evil son bitches like to pick on people that can't defend themselves. They mess with little girls and with families. And that can't, that can't happen. We're going to send them back to hell. One at a time. Every single damn one of them. And I will be coming out to California, old boy. And we'll, we, we'll be taking his wraith out because that, that bastard called me out by name. So I'm coming for him. So you guys stay tuned for that episode. It's going to be it's gonna be a hell of a lot of fun. So until I speak to you guys again, love many, trust few, and do harm to none. God loves you, and so do we. Bye-bye. Hey uh, guys, JC again, Shadows Pit Paranormal. I want to thank uh, Tales from the Abyss for uh, letting me come out tonight and be their um, advisor for the paranormal. Um, I know uh, they have a vast uh, knowledge of. Uh, cut that. <clears throat> Look, you don't understand we're on his insurance right now, so you get $160,000 to get it. <laughs> no, they're just trying to play it. Yeah. Very good. Idea. James, what walk were you just doing? Master. <laughs> master. Master. Get the monster, Master. I'll get him, Master. Excuse me, but does that pump hurt? What pump? Yeah. <laughs> what's up 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 guys it's horror author james what's up guys it's horror author james hershey jr from the hysteria city abyss radio show no this isn't the radio show oh no it's not oh no it's not there we go. Uh, Good night. Good night, Good night guys. everybody. Night. Sleep dreams. Sleep later. Hug your demons. See you later. <laughs> <Sleep> Yar! <Yeah. laughs>